First of all, I slept on the couch last night. But I've been in and out of consciousness since that first alarm. About to be 9 o'clock. Welcome to a realistic spend a morning with me. <laughs> Is this camera straight? I don't have my glasses on and my contacts aren't in. So we're just gonna hope this is a straight. This is gonna get. Good morning, world. Hi, everybody. How are you? Today is Thursday, March 24th, and I feel like we haven't really like sat down and just did a regular non like moving, organizing, unpacking vlog in like weeks. A lot of this video is based around the fact that I have moved and our routines have kind of changed. So I thought, why don't we just spend a morning together versus an entire day because my days are kind of all over the place now. And my mornings are kind of the only solid thing that I have going for me right now. I just brushed my teeth and I showered last night and I don't really have anywhere to go today. I'm gonna throw some clothes on really quick quickly get like a little bit ready for the day i'm already kind of hungry so i'm thinking about what i'm gonna have for breakfast which i don't know what i'm gonna have yet which is always a battle in this household for me and cashew i'm sorry to catch you because you don't deserve that i'm gonna throw some clothes on get ready off camera because i'm pretty sure you guys know my old morning routine like the back of your hand we're switching things up a little bit time around I have on this white tank top from Princess Polly, this crop jacket, I think it's brandy, and then these jeans are from Garage, surprisingly. They make me look like I have no shape, in my opinion, but the jeans are really cute and they fit really nicely. Um, I think I'm gonna wear this with my dunks today when I do go out. Mm. If you see me at any point in this video and my eyes are watering and red and my nose is running, not only did I have to just have to take my contact out of my left eye because it was bothering me, but also because the pollen is coming out and she's not coming to play. So please remind me to take some Zyrtec in about five minutes because I will forget. I'm going to take it after I eat though. So yeah. I really wanted to wear my contacts today, but... My body said nope. As somebody who's been living in this apartment for almost two weeks, it's still kind of weird to see myself like waking up and filming and having pictures in here because it's like, this is this mine. This is all me right here. So I'm trying to think of what I'm gonna have for breakfast. Yesterday I had some toast and yogurt and I was not full. So I think I'm gonna go for my instant oatmeal route because I kind of miss her. I need to use it my milk too. So I'm probably gonna have some of this instant oatmeal, some toast and some yogurt as well as some iced coffee, which I'm going to be making. I made it yesterday for the first time in forever and it still smacks. to show you how I like to make my iced coffee in the mornings and all you need is three ingredients first thing caramel sauce I prefer this I can't say the brand name but this is what I prefer dot cold brew coffee the not too sweet one black Starbucks caramel macchiato creamer obviously had to be a barista like in a past life I know how to make a drink pretty okay I usually start with lining the cup with caramel but I keep my caramel in the fridge because I know once you open caramel you kind of have to keep it in there but I line my cup with caramel not once but twice I like to do a lot but because it's been in the fridge the caramel low-key kind of hardens and whatnot it doesn't look like a lot but it's because I have to put ice in here still I'll be right back I have iced coffee without ice and then I just drizzle more caramel on the top of the ice to make sure that she's not of course forgotten and then I'm still trying to get my ratio right with my cold brew and my creamer yesterday I had like a I'm gonna say fourth cold brew and then the other three fourths like creamer and I don't really like that so I'm gonna try to go half and half today so boom there's that this beautiful creamer Perfect. And if you say anything about my creamer to coffee ratio, who's the one drinking it? Oh. Now it's time for the most satisfying part, in my opinion, which is the mix. Perfect. 
let's taste test. Oh my God, it's so good. So this is breakfast for the morning. We have my toast with butter, some oatmeal, some yogurt with honey and granola, and then my beautiful iced coffee creation. Cash is jealous over there on the couch. Let's go ahead and munch down. I have like a set routine that I would do before like I did any work or school related stuff like back in the old house, but I find myself thoroughly enjoying like checking that stuff while I eat my breakfast because it's like, yeah, we're getting pumped for the day, this, that, and the third. Yes, St. Snoop is in my kitchen. Like I said, we have some apartment updates. So while I eat, I'm just gonna go ahead and check some of my work and school stuff. So YouTube, emails, um, DMs, offers, whatnot. Um, I have some TikToks that I have to plan as well. So yeah, um, I'm gonna eat. Shout out if you would like. You're gonna have to see my side profile for a lot of this, so I'm sorry. But um, let's eat breakfast together. fit for our team and a great fit for the internship program so i just wanted to call and extend you an offer internship this summer you're, you're more than welcome to work in the office or work remote absolutely well thank you so much for picking up the call it was um great chatting with you quick and i will um send over all that information and feel free if you come across any questions feel free to email me or give me a call whatever works for you you have a great rest of your day you too thanks right, bye, -bye. 10:30. Before we talk about that phone call, I need to finish my social stuff. So I'm gonna post these TikToks real quick and I'm gonna get right back to you, I promise. There's a lot of things we need to discuss, but first things first, the most important one. I have a couch now. Oh, it totally like brushed past my mind the fact that like the last time y'all saw my apartment, I didn't have really anything in here. So here's a lot of updates for you guys. So first things first, I got a couch. I did record some of the process because I feel like it was a big monumental moment for that. So here's a little process of it getting delivered and my boyfriend and I putting it together because you have 50 shades of photo if you think I wasn't gonna record this because it was putting us through the ringer. So it's a little bit bare right now and it's very big. This is the Ikea Kivet couch in beige and it's actually so big it stretches all the way to my patio door. I left some space behind it just so you can like walk outside and whatnot. This is my couch, it's very comfortable in my opinion. And just when it came to like my couch search and whatnot, I was definitely looking for a couch that could A, be delivered as soon as possible because I was not trying to go three plus months again like I did in Greensboro to get a couch and as well as a very modern look. I was very stuck on this very modern low couch look because it's just so timeless in my opinion and with all the kitchens looking like this nowadays just in different color fonts even if I get a different kitchen with the open like floor plan and different cabinet colors I think the beige will go nicely and even if so I can always buy different cushion covers from Ikea if I want to so this couch can change color whenever the hell I feel like it and that's why I really bought it and I think it's really gonna last a really long time second apartment update <laughs> I have bar stools I got these bar stools I didn't feel myself putting these together but I got these bar stools off of Amazon and I'm really going for that neutrals kind of colorway in my apartment as you can see the black chairs matches this black kind of ring it also matches the black on my TV and I'm gonna have entertainment center here soon that I haven't bought yet but I have three bar stools glad I got three because the three fit perfectly under this counter because I got counter height bar stools and once again just really modern and timeless kind of clean design between the two so I really love these my last video was actually organizing unpacking all that for my kitchen and I left my under the like sink area looking a little rough or a little more rough than I would want to so I'm gonna let you guys know I added a shelf under there so this is the shelf that I added under there I actually have one in my bathroom spoiler for my organizing video and I just put the stuff that I mainly use up here this stuff is supposed to go up there too but I didn't put it away last night because I was tired so but yeah I have a shelf under here now and the stuff that I don't use as much or is like extra is back there Something I also forgot to mention was that I decorated my fridge with some Polaroid, so I thought this was interesting. So here's me doing that.
Somebody asked me where I got that beach cart from and like where it's from. It's actually Ebers beach cart. If you watch my moving vlog, he's the one that brought it and it's his. So I don't know where he got it from, but let me show you the brand name. Brand name is Ozark Trail. I'm pretty sure you can just get this off Amazon. And then something that I realized I just grazed over again was that I have a TV in my living room. I have a TV in my living room. My dad actually mounted this for me a couple days ago. So I have a TV in here now. It definitely feels like a living room, like even though there's still boxes and whatnot, and still kind of a mess everywhere. I have a living room and it's wonderful. I love staying in here. Cashew loves it in here. And yeah, everything is coming together nicely out here. I can't remember if I mentioned something about my bed in a previous moving vlog, but basically I had my bed frame from my dad's house brought over here because I love the Ikea mom bed frame. I've had it for years, Um, I think since 2018 or 19 at his house and I know I wanted a new one for my house here because with the storage and whatnot just being an apartment the drawers under it the way it looks I just love it and the price is unbeatable but it was a full size but I have a queen size bed and I didn't know it was a full size platform so I had to rebuy a queen size at mom and Ikea this is what it looks like now ignore my pillows I haven't put my pillow that I slept on in here yet but this is what it looks like now I wasn't able to buy proper drawers so these are from the full set because the only thing they had in stock was the frame i'm gonna buy the under drawer separately i'm gonna get four of them but now that i kind of got my emails and stuff out of the way i'm gonna talk a little bit about my internship so crazy let me sit on the floor because i can actually sit on the floor now because i have a rug as y'all saw i got a call about an internship that i applied to about a month and a half to you have to be the center of attention always so i got a call for an internship that i applied for about a month and a half ago slash two months ago they called me saying that i got it I had my interview yesterday and i didn't know that they were gonna get back to me this quick but they sent me my offer letter and i think i'm going to take it it's a wonderful opportunity it's paid it's a hybrid based on choice like where I want to work. Just all the stuff that comes with it seems perfect for me. They said I was a perfect fit for it, so I think I'm gonna have an internship this summer. This is gonna be my second internship because I have an internship right now that's really like not even requiring 10 hours a week, hence the reason I am still posting twice a week right now. But um, I can't believe that happened. My universe requests are coming true day by day, and I'm so happy that I got the internship, especially because it's paid. Like, it's so hard to find like a paying internship nowadays because I feel like no internship should be free. I mean, I understand like if it's one of your first and whatnot, but I feel like no body should be doing labor for free especially with gas prices looking the way that they are are you kidding me also cashew got a haircut two days ago and it still looks so cute and he smells so good i also want to talk about cashew for a second because some people have been asking me how he's been doing with like the adjustments to the new environment and whatnot hi he's been doing a lot better when we first moved here for the first week we were here and i would go to school he would bark obnoxiously loud i'm pretty sure the whole time i was gone for classes and i can't help that because i have to go to school but yesterday was the first time that I left and I didn't hear him bark because usually I can hear him down the hallway because he's so loud. I didn't hear him bark at all yesterday, at least when I was walking out, which he usually starts barking before I get to the parking deck and I can hear him all the way over there because he's so fucking loud. And having neighbors and stuff, I really wish he would stop because I have neighbors and I don't want to noise complain. I don't want them to try to like get rid of cash and whatnot or like I would feel bad about that. But thankfully it's during the day. But yesterday was the first day I left and I did, he didn't bark. And when I left, I came back and he had toys on the floor that weren't there when I left. So I'm assuming he was playing and just laying down and whatnot while I was gone. And also while I was gone, I put one of those TV for doll things so it wasn't dead silent in here. Then I noticed that the blanket was a little bit ruffled that was on the couch. So I'm so proud of him. Speaking of Cashew, I like to take him on at least one walk a day because he is such a small dog and his breed is a multi poo they really don't require that much exercise they're usually known as like lap dogs and whatnot so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and take him on his walk i have my test for class in about 40 minutes um so we have more than enough time to go out and i'm already dressed so i'm pretty sure he's ready to go so we're gonna go ahead and get him ready for his walk take him outside and just enjoy the outdoors and be grateful because I got an internship, I'm filming, I'm gonna be doing what I love, and I'm excited. So much is happening at once, it's crazy!
just finished taking my test and it's currently 12 11 and we had 20 true or false questions and then four which my color like written things like mini essays and whatnot and i only missed four of the true or false so i got a 16 out of 20 on that section but that means i got a 24 out of 100 so far because the written part i think they were like 20 points each yeah the essay questions two are worth 15 and the other two are worth 20 so i'm really honing in on those i made sure they were details i had my examples and everything but sadly it's not the morning anymore i don't know how we got here so quickly maybe it's because i literally stayed laying down till nine o'clock hi everybody so i actually was rambling on about how i asked the spam account if i should keep recording throughout my day and a lot of you said you wanted me to but because i don't want to post the same video with 10 different fonts and i feel like i do a day in my life videos a lot i thought i would switch it up and just keep it strictly in the morning time so that's the reason you're getting this outro via macbook camera so with that being said um that's it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you want to see more of these like morning with me's and whatnot seeing like what my routine is and what it develops into in this new place but if you guys liked it please give it a thumbs up subscribe and make sure you hit that bell notification i post every sunday and wednesday so you don't miss me follow the socials because they're the most kept up with things because videos can only go up so fast and yeah that's it guys for today's video and i will see you guys on the next one bye everybody